Hi and welcome to Drummer's Review. I'm Nick and in today's video we're taking a look at a Pearl Midtown kit. Pearl's Midtown range is a portable setup that features a 16 inch by 14 inch bass drum with telescopic legs and a riser, 10 by 7 inch rack tom, 13 by 12 inch floor tom and a matching 13 by 5 and a half inch snare drum. As part of the package you also get a full complement of hardware including a tom holder, floor tom legs, bass drum pedal, bass drum mounted cymbal arm, boom cymbal stand, hi-hat stand and snare stand. All of the drums feature 6-ply 7mm poplar shells with 45 degree bearing edges. The bass drum features matching wood hoops with a cutout on the batter side to house the bass drum pedal, whilst the snare and toms all feature 1.5mm steel hoops. The kit is available in three different finish options, with pure white, matte red and matte asphalt black, which is the kit that we have here today. Heads wise, the kit comes supplied with pearl branded heads throughout, We've coated single ply batters over clear single ply resonance on the snare and toms and coated single ply batter and front side on the bass drum. Price-wise, and we've seen this kit available online for around about the £535 mark, which when you consider that you also get a full set of hardware included, could make this kit a winner. But before we go any further, let's dive a little deeper. Starting with the 16 by 14 inch bass drum, and undampened you get an adequate tone that sounds okay, but it would benefit from having slightly thicker batter heads and certainly a ported front head. That said, it fares pretty well when it's compared to other 16 inch bass drums we've tried before, sounding solid and it is really fun to play. Moving on to the rack tom, and it gives a lovely clean tone that sings beautifully. Having a single ply coated head, it does work better at a slightly higher tuning, but once you find that sweet spot you are really rewarded with a lovely clear tone. The floor tom, whilst being quite diminutive, gives a lovely full sound. Again, like the rack tom, having a single ply coated head, it works better at a slightly higher tuning, but it gives a nice, full, well projected tone that sings through the studio.
Finally, the 13-inch snare drum is articulate and clear, but it would benefit from having a touch of dampening. Snares off, it gives a fairly full-bodied tone, while engaging the wires gives a crisp and clear sound, but with lots of ringing overtone. Overall, the kit fares really well. Granted, the bass drum would benefit from thicker heads and the snare drum from a touch of dampening, but apart from that, that's really about all we would change. In terms of construction, and the kit is really well made. All of the tuning rods feel really smooth and the bearing edges are perfectly level throughout. Elsewhere, the included hardware pack is okay. It's not perhaps the most robust we've come across, but as a starting point it should last for a while. Special mention, however, does go to the bass drum pedal, which feels great to play being fast and fluid under your foot. In terms of construction, our only slight gripe is that we would have liked to have seen slightly thicker rims on the snare and toms. The slight amount of extra weight this would have added to the overall shell pack would have been a more than acceptable trade-off to get a much more solid feeling playing experience. Style-wise, and obviously a portable kit like this wouldn't work in every application, but for smaller venues, difficult loadings and quieter environments, it's great. It particularly suits a sort of funky and hip-hop type settings, but would be equally at home in a more jazz-based environment as well. Being available online for around the £535 mark, we feel that it's actually quite good value for money. Yes, there are slightly cheaper compact kits out there available on the market, but when you consider the included hardware, the build quality and the overall sound it produces, we think it actually makes a lot of sense. But, as always, we'd love to hear your thoughts, so please do drop us a comment below. Subscribe and click on the bell icon to be notified of our future videos. Head on over to our website, drummersreview.com, for all the latest news from the drumming world, and we'll see you here next time at Drummers Review.